epilogue, Ocean Pollution. The force that propelled Mal up and out of the waves had also pushed Uma away from the pirate ship, sending her crashing against the rocks. She couldn't remember what had happened next, only that she had been re rescued by her mother's loyal pets, Flotsam and Jetsam, who nudged her awake. They swam away once they saw her eyes flutter open, but Uma was confused. Where was she? What was she doing? What just happened? She had come so close to winning something, but what? Why couldn't she remember? Her head was throbbing. Then she heard it, loud, blaring rock music. Hades. Now she remembered. She and Hades had a deal. They were going to go after Mal, bring her, bring her down, bring in the barrier down, win their freedom, and escape from the Isle of the Lost once and for all. Uma swam up to the cave, looking for the fissures, fissures in the stone where she had slipped inside the tunnel. But everything was plugged up with a dense, solid material, dark and shiny. It repelled her touch, sending her back into the water. Hades! Uma screamed. Hades! Let me in! But there was no answer. There was no way for Uma to shapeshift into a form that would allow her to slip through the cracks because there were no cracks anymore. That washed up rock god had double-crossed her. But why? Was he on Mal's side now? What was this all about? Hades! Uma raged. You'll pay for this! This was all Mal's doing. She had won again. But one day, Uma vowed, she would have her revenge. She would show that purple-haired punk once and for all. Mal would never forget the name of the person who ruled the Isle of the Lost, the one who would bring Ordon to its knees. Uma! And that is the end of Escape from the Isle of the Lost. Thank you for joining with me as we watch our fellow VKs graduate from Ordon Prep and getting set for Descendants 3. And we're so close to beyond the Isle of the Lost. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.